So I received a package from my mom, I guess you call it, um, who lives in Indiana. And she sent me chocolate chip cookies, you guys. And I am so emotional right now because it's, I really miss Indiana so much like I do. And the fact that she sent me these cookies just means so much to me. Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight Only you and me Morning everybody, it is 7.10. I'm actually here for my orientation. I'm all bundled up because we've had this like snowstorm here in upstate and they do a pretty good job of removing the snow so that's kind of nice but uh, yeah, I'm gonna head to my orientation now. We are parked and ready to go. Hey guys, so I apologize. I haven't like filmed very much. It's just, it's been crazy at work. I'm not gonna lie. It's just been crazy and a lot of times I'm just like spending charting because charting takes me forever. So I'm actually gonna go early today and I'm trying to make some things for myself so it's like a little bit easier for me to just kind of get with the flow obviously i've only been doing this for like five six days but um i've you know not five six days maybe five yeah five days but um definitely a big big learning curve i mean i feel like school doesn't like really teach you much and it's a lot on you um, and I also I'm not like formally trained in acute care so there's obviously even more um, learning curve for me I've worked in a hospital but I mean the job that I did have didn't involve making medical decisions and making medical decisions I mean it takes years and years of practice and um, I'm just trying to really get used to things, trying to uh, prioritize, you know, in my history and physical, just focusing on the focused problem and focused exam and also like understanding different types of antibiotics, you know, and for my exam, like I memorized all these different antibiotics and then like I wasn't using them. Um, I wasn't prescribing them obviously you know I graduated NP school back in January of 2023 and I was uh, not in practice as a NP so a lot of that information kind of just went over my head so just trying to um, get back on track with the guidelines and everything but it's a lot got this new set of lamps and it actually kind of matches with my bedding and it's a lot better than what it was I was expecting it to be. Looks great. Choose the Wendy's on my help you. Hi, can I have the Asiago Ranch Club? Just a sandwich, please. Alright, anything else? Okay. That would be all. Alright. Pull up for your total. Thank you. You're Heading to work right now, just um ordered something from Wendy's because I just didn't want to eat what I had at home so <laughs> I'm nervous uh, seven days seven nights it's gonna be a, lo a big learning curve for sure but it's gonna be done <laughs> sitting here in my office and yeah the first half of my shift was kind of crazy because I had to do an admission and I had never done an admission before a lot of learning definitely a lot of learning I feel like the next 90 days or so is going to be a lot of learning but that's why I'm here in New York so 
Yeah. Hello so guys, uh, so we are going to go run some errands right now. I have so much to do. I've worked the past seven days, so it's been a lot. And now I'm just kind of catching up with other things. So it's an errand day for me today. Okay guys, I have a quick Walmart grocery haul here for you. I got some sriracha mayo. Then I got a couple of seasonings, some dry parsley, basil, and then bay leaves. And then I got this lemon extract uh, for marinades. I have some tomatoes. I couldn't find regular tomatoes, like regular Roma tomatoes, so I just found whatever I could. Uh, I, I got whatever I could find and then I have this pack of butter then this is something I'm excited to try I've never seen this before at Walmart um, so it's the Chobani zero sugar um, Greek yogurt in like the milk and cookies and then vanilla so excited to try that got more seasonings we have some chipotle taco mix these are some of my favorite seasonings from Walmart. Some garlic parmesan. And then some chili mix. This is a pack of walnuts with my fruits. I like walnuts. And then some chive and onion um, cream cheese spread for bread and stuff. And then some minced garlic. This uh, Korean noodles, the bulldog. I think it's Korean, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And some ground beef. I'm gonna be cooking a lot this afternoon, so yeah. I haven't filmed a cooking video in such a long time, but wanted to share with you guys that I am making some lunch and dinner for myself. I made some Mediterranean salad. The only thing I didn't add yet is um, salt because if I put salt right away, it's gonna get all mushy and you know be liquidy and I don't want that. So that's what we're working on. I went and I bought this Cajun seasoning. Honestly, you can actually make this at home. You don't really need to go buy this and I didn't realize it until I saw the ingredients, so yeah. Okay guys, I just got back from Bible study and I am about to take off my makeup. I'm just going to walk you guys through what I have been doing recently and some of the products that I recently have purchased. So my Holy Grail Garnier Micellar Water. This one is a little different. This one is the Vitamin C All Brightening kind and I have used you know my solar water for years and I'm gonna keep using them and that's usually how I take off my makeup a lot of makeup okay now that the makeup is out I am going to go ahead and wash my face with this Equate Beauty deep cleaning cream cleanser and this is like duping the Neutrogena one. I have used the Neutrogena one before and I do like it as well. Okay, I also went ahead and brushed my teeth. So now I'm going to show you guys the newer products that I have here in my collection. The first item that I have here is by The Ordinary and it is the glycolic acid. I have used this before. I don't know why The Ordinary logo is like not on there, but I have used this one like several times before. 
if you don't know much about glycolic acid it is supposed to like um exfoliate your skin without being super harsh um it's not as concentrated as some other um types of toning solutions out there but i do like this it has worked for me for many many years and i'm gonna keep using it and because now i am like focusing more on aging and like anti-aging i have this good molecules niacinamide serum i did a little bit of research guys so um that's how i found some of these products but please don't quote me on anything because i'm not really a skincare expert i'm not a dermatologist i did watch a video of a dermatologist and that is how i got some of these products on my amazon list so all of these products i got them from amazon basically and then i'm not gonna have tons and tons of steps and this one is sarah Wee and it's the lotion or face cream i should say i will be using it's called resurfacing retinol serum so this is what i am going to be using i am not gonna like put layers and layers of things because i feel like that can be a scam <laughs> you know because like so many people have so many different um skincare products and stuff and i just decided to stick to these three and the only other thing that i'm gonna do which i need to get this thing off my eyelash is put some castor oil which is going to be so controversial castor oil on my eyebrows and my eyelashes and i'm doing this because i feel like i just need to focus on hair growth not just like my face but also like my actual hair and i feel like i'm losing hair not so much the eyebrows necessarily but um, my you know hair hair and i'm going to start using castor oil and coconut oil on my actual hair as well um and i'm not so sure about actual hair growth i don't know if it actually makes your hair grow faster or whatever but it does from my understanding at least help condition it you have to be very very careful with applying castor oil on around your eye in general because you don't want this in your eye you guys you really don't um so just a warning there just be really really gentle and very very careful because it can cause some serious issues so don't you know like i said i am not an expert this is just my routine that i have been following lately and i'm just sharing that with you so guys i'm going to go ahead and moisturize my lips i can't seem to find the one that i had already opened this is just a random chapstick from dragon medical <laughs> um <laughs> In case you don't know what that is, that is actually like a dictation app that we use um, at my job. So that is what I'm going to do is just simply moisturize and now I'm all ready for bed.